Hello there. Due to a recent Kelly update regarding the software key, the ability to install software may be disrupted for existing Kelly users. This video will cover downloading the updated software key. This is a media blitz format that will allow me to share topics faster and keep pace with frequently updated topics. My channel focuses on adding the power of Linux to your Android, Chromebook, or PC without the need to root or remove your system. Additionally, I cover cross-platform topics. My playlists are available from the homepage on my YouTube channel and are organized by operating system and cross-platform topics. To make it easier to follow along with my videos, I include the full written instructions in the pinned comment. So if you scroll down to the comments of the current video you are watching now, you will see the top pinned comment containing the written instructions. To see the whole comment, click on Read More. Any updates will be noted at the top of the pinned comment. Note that you can copy and paste the notes into a text file like I have here with the mousepad text editor. Or, if you're feeling fancy, we can copy and paste the notes into a tiddlywinky notebook, also known as flexible offline searchable notes. Here, I pressed the backtick key from the top left of the keyboard so that there are three backticks before and after the text. This will apply monospaced block formatting. Keep in mind that you can modify the notes however you'd like, whether that's formatting, adding images, or changing what's in the notes. For more information on TiddlyWiki, I recommend watching my TiddlyWiki videos. That concludes the intro, now onward to the video. To download the Kali software key from a terminal, we can execute sudo space wget space https colon slash slash archive dot cali dot org slash archive dash key dot asc space dash capital o space slash etc slash apt slash trusted dot gpg dot d slash cali dash archive dash key ring dot asc note that this is all one continuous line now that the software key is updated, we can do sudo space apt space update space dash y. This will update the software index list, and this time it will update without issue. Additionally, if we open up Synaptic Package Manager and click the reload button from the top left, we will no longer get an error when it updates the list of available packages. So now we can install software like usual. And that's all for this video, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon!